Hello everyone, it is Gonict here and uh, welcome to another video of Tinja's Construct and I came back in the desert um, to get some more string because I said I would come because I don't have enough libraries in my basement so um, I brought also my tools with me this time and I, I am able to get into the pyramid now I don't know yet how I will do it but I'm sure I'll find a way so I've made a whole lot of bread I had like 27 when I started was it I don't really remember but yeah I, it was quite a lot now I need to find a way to get in this freaking pyramid but how am I gonna do that I guess I'll just have to dig around I have to excavate this pyramid before I can enter it so yeah I think I think I'll leave this task for another day when we'll have a better shovel than just an ultra stone shovel so yeah cave sounds uh, now I'm heading back to base but I, I did want to show you this. Now, this happened over here. I was fighting some skeletons and some creepers. I was trying to get music discs over here. As you can see, I got two of them. I didn't get my favorite yet, which is Ward. But I'm sure I'll get it one day. So, I, I was fighting over here. And I was, I was like, I was fighting zombies over here. Like, I was shooting like that. And I turn around. And I see a creeper right there, like, it wasn't even close to me, it was right there, which was charging next to some skeletons, and it exploded. So, apparently this creeper was bugged out for some reason, and it exploded without me being next to it. Or, like, do creepers explode when skeletons are shooting them by mistake? I don't think it, a skeleton even shot this creeper by mistake, but, yeah, anyways. So... Um, I'm going back to base now. Let me just... Oh my god, this frame lag is so bad. Um, at the, you know, very well-known coordinates, 200 and 200. So here the numbers start decreasing. And that means we're getting closer to our base. Now we are more than, actually less than 300 blocks away in both directions. So yeah, that was pretty good. I got 17 string, which was fairly good. Um, I got way more spiders than last time. And what I realized is that this sword over here is so freaking useless. This ultra stone sword. It takes, like, with this iron sword that has sharpness 1, uh, 7.25 attack damage, right? It takes me two hits to kill a spider with this one. And with this one, it takes four or five, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty UP, if I can say so. By UP, I mean underpowered. But I'm sure that soon I'll have a better sword. So I've come pretty close as far as the Z dimension is concerned. Now moving to the to the X dimension. What is that big C over here? Oh, okay, okay. I know where I am. So apparently I have to cover up the X direction first because now I have to travel through the C and without the depth strider boots, which I don't think exist in this Minecraft version. It's really difficult, so yeah. Also, I realized that I need more food. But now, like, I'm making potatoes, and I think I will be able to keep myself well fed with those potatoes. I will also plant carrots, but I don't usually eat carrots so much because they were nerfed quite badly during the last updates of the game. So, yeah, as far as that is concerned, as far as the food is concerned, I think we'll, you know, find a way to just keep it on normal. Why did I even keep the coordinate page up? Alright, so, 
back to base now, and I want to see, I really want to see if I can complete the enchanting area. Which basically, if I'm if I am able to do that right now, we will enchant our diamond pickaxe. And just because enchants don't lock up in this Minecraft version, um, I do think that I will just keep relogging in this world. I will make copies of this world, and I will test every enchant until I can be sure that I got the right enchant. So, yeah, I'll start storing stuff in here. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, my bad, sorry. Sugar kings are right here. So I have 17 string. Let me just go make sure. I think we need four more bookshelves. Three, four, yep. So four by three, 12. So I got enough string, and yes, we will enchant today. So 12 multiplied by 3 is 36, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oops, okay, <laughs> give me that. Uh, let's place the crafting table down real quick. Get that sorted back. Okay, so 12 and uh, patterns. Just like so, let me make some more sticks and just do that. 12, okay, that's enough. So, uh, I need two patterns if I'm not mistaken, so I'll need more. Yes, I need more patterns. Uh, another 12 patterns, which is not a big deal. I need uh, three and three, so bam bam bam, there we go, three, like six of two on each, but I'm losing my words and whatever, so 12 books, we got this, and I got five spare string, okay, nice, um, music discs, I'm just gonna place next to the, um, next to the gunpowder, because this is a creeper loot. Alright, so do I have any birch wood? I do! Sweet! So I need, uh, for 4, I need um, 6 by 4, 24 planks. And that's 6 wood. Uh, yep, I did the math correctly now. I should warm up my head because last year at school, you know, I should be really perfect if I want to succeed in my freaking life. And there we go. Now if I put something enchantable in this enchanting table, uh, for example this pickaxe, I should be able to get level 30 enchants. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is um, keep copying the world over and over until I can get Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, and I'm breaking 3. So I'll keep doing that, and uh, you guys will see me enchanting. I will not, like, um, start stop recording and record again uh, when I enchant, but yeah, I'll cut this part out for you. So let's do it. Uh, I finally got it! There it is! Holy shit! Okay, so I got the fucking pickaxe already. Efficiency 4 and breaking 3, fortune 3. Whew, that was hard. Mr. Enchanting Table, you disappointed me today. But yeah, I used up almost all of my levels. And yeah, now we're going to mine those diamonds. So let's dive right into it. Alright, so with this pick now, we will go and get the diamonds, the rest of them. Let's see what we'll get, how many diamonds. Um, the max that we can get from uh, an ore is 4 diamonds. So I'm expecting to get from 3 at least 5. So let's do it. First one gave us 2 diamonds. No, 3 diamonds. Okay, that was good. Second one is gonna give me... Ooh, four diamonds, perfect. And the last one is gonna give me one diamond. 
Okay, so that was really, really good. I can tell that that was really good. I got eight diamonds. So let's mine out this redstone. Uh, level five already. Wow. Epic. So, um, yeah. I'm not getting this gold because of the, you know, auto smelt. I said that in the previous episode. Also, okay, so. That's cool. Now I'll just turn some of the redstone into blocks and store it with the other stuff over here. And I can start mining coal and stuff with my fortune pick. So now that I have a fortune pick, um, what I'm gonna do is, is make another diamond pickaxe on which uh, the enchantment I want to get is just um, efficiency 4 and then breaking 3. And th with that pick, I'm actually gonna get the ore at the nether. Um, the cobalt and the andrite, if this is the right uh, pronunciation of it, um, which makes up menlin, if I'm not mistaken, or what, what is the other? Let me see, let me see. Is it menlin? I'll need my books for that. Uh, alloys, yeah, where are the alloys? Yeah, menlin, cobalt, and ar ardite. Ardite, okay. So, um, the strongest tools are made out of menlin. So, that's what we're looking for at the moment. So yeah, we will do that, and I will just keep doing this enchanting shit until I get this enchantment. I think now it's gonna be a little bit easier, but oh, I don't have even enough levels for it. So I guess I'll have to use my fortune pick on it. Mm, I don't know. Well, now that I have my fortune pick, I can even like do some stuff that I wasn't able to do before but I think that I'm gonna keep this as a surprise for the next episode for now I'm just gonna store those guys in the chest over here and maybe I'll cook up some iron because I don't know why I haven't cooked iron yet I don't have any in my chest look at that it's completely empty so yeah, I'll start cooking up some iron, and while doing that, I'll just go ahead and make the outline, let's say, of the carrot farm, which is gonna be right here at y equals to 45. So, I'm not gonna make the entire thing today. Actually, um, do you guys think that I should do this off camera? If you want me to do this off camera, let me know in the comments below. Because mining, I think, is pretty boring. Mining out a room like that can be pretty boring for a lot of people. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna take my fortune pick and go ahead and harvest some of these potatoes because I do get more potatoes if I mine them with this fortune pick. And if I'm not mistaken, the pickaxe also doesn't lose any durability. So that's perfect. What I'm gonna do now is equip my pick. So it has, look at this, it, it has 1557 durability. I'll start mining some potatoes. Like, look at that. I mine one and I get three. I mine one and I get two. I mine one and I get three again. So, but if I keep doing that, I should be able to get increased potato drops and the durability is not being taken down. 31 potatoes already, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So, 42 now. 48. 54. 60. So I should be able to fill this up. And look at that. Still the same durability as before. So that's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do is just plant those real quick. And then I'll go up and harvest some wheat. Just because, uh, not so sure, mm, no, they're not gonna make it to the full. I still have four spaces left, but we'll cover this up pretty shortly. So, oh, 
Okay, so now with this fortune pick, I'm gonna go ahead and mine this coal. As you can see, I'm getting way more than one coal piece per ore. Here I got 18 out of how many? Let's count how many it was. It was 9 ores and I got double the coal. 18. Oh, there is more over here. Okay, I didn't even see that. I'm gonna get that also. Okay. That was, again, no, that was 6 ore. And I got 18. Oh, I got even more from that. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand that, but... Eh. You know, that's Minecraft. You never know what to expect. Expect. It's a game that relies a lot on randomness. And even though I don't like that, I should get on with it. So, poisonous potato, I don't really need. And iron, I'm just gonna place right here at the moment. And actually, you know, I just place the crafting table down. But I will not get it back until all iron is cooked up. <gasps> no, why am I cooking the iron over here? I could so smelt it into the freaking smeltery. That's why I didn't cook it, but <laughs> whatever. Whatever. The damage has been done now. Can't do anything about it. But I guess, like... Meh, I got, I got turn them into blocks um, in the smeltery. You know what? I should take them. No, 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 no. It's fine, it's fine. I'll get over it. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty much for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. This was Gonicked here with my half skin. Half of it is missing because... It's 1.7 and jackets are not visible. So yeah. Oh, I can get this lapis lazuli also. Yeah, I'll do that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you want to see more. Share this video with your friends. And we'll be seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.